pinpoint weather and traffic together. Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. Well, after a pair of beautiful days, Todd, we've got uh, some changes for today. You'll need your rain gear for the afternoon and evening hours. Looking outside right now, taking a look at our Narragansett beach camera again. Sun is up, still trying to climb above uh, some of the clouds that you can see on the horizon there. So pretty uh, sky this morning as we see uh, increase in the clouds. Dry though and still some blue in Oakland Beach. And here's the view of Down City Providence where we're dry for your morning commute about 62 degrees with a south wind at 10 miles per hour. Warmer start this morning for us. No 40s out there. In fact, lower 60s in New Bedford and Taunton spots that were in the uh, 40s yesterday. Westerly, you're at 61. Dry skies. Roadways are in good shape. We have good visibility and the threat of rain before noon. It's low, but beyond noon, that chance goes up and you can see peaking during the late afternoon and evening. So we are expecting some wet weather for the evening commute. There's even a slight chance of a thunderstorm. Winds, they're going to be breezy today, 5 to 15 miles per hour this morning and going to be even a little stronger in the afternoon and evening. Here's the setup. Warm front to our west. That'll slowly slide to the east and it'll take until tomorrow morning for that to finally punch north of us. Once it does, we're in the warm and humid air for the rest of the weekend. Future cast for this morning. Again, clouds on the increase, not much precipitation before noon. Notice the clouds thickening up west to east, showers filling in for the evening commute, and we'll be seeing off and on showers, not just for the evening, but overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning starts off with a risk of some showers, fog, and clouds. Not much in the afternoon, though. As we head into the second half of the day, clouds break for some peaks of sunshine, and our temperatures will be up inland into the upper 70s. Commuting into work this morning, still hovering around 60 degrees, and we'll have a tough time even hitting that 70 degree mark in most Spots. Look for showers in the afternoon in Westerly, Hope Valley, mid 60s, mid and upper 60s. Inland may have a few spots again that briefly hit 70 degrees. 69 in Burrowville. As those showers take over, the temperatures may fall a few degrees. So generally in the 60s for today for your high temperature and the visibility drops on the bay as we track those showers. Southeast winds 10 to 20 knots. Moderate rip current risk at the beach is not a great beach day. If you do want to get in a few hours, the morning hours are the time to do it. As for the weekend, kind of the opposite. We're going to start off with a shower threat Saturday morning in areas of fog. You're going to wake up to some fog on Sunday morning, but eventually give way to some partial sunshine with temperatures at the beaches this weekend. A little warmer on uh, Sunday compared to Saturday. These are dew point temperatures. Anytime that dew points above 60, it's pretty uncomfortable and the higher it is, the closer to 70, the more oppressive the air is. You can see it is going to be very muggy for your day on Saturday and those dew points remain high Sunday and Monday too. So upper 60s for your high today. Temperatures in the mid and upper 70s for tomorrow. Shower threat greatest in the morning. Most of the afternoon looking dry. I have a dry for Father's Day on Sunday with a high of 82 degrees. It'll be foggy in the morning. A little patience needed, but those skies brighten up in the afternoon. And again, going to be a humid finish to the weekend. We have the CBS Health Charity Classic Monday Rhode Island Country Club morning fog, but then dry through the rest of the tournament. Our chances of seeing some showers and thunderstorms going up as we approach Monday evening, lasting into Tuesday morning next week. May 